Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jurtic and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video we're going to see how to make dynamic drop-down lists by rows instead of by columns, which is the classical way. I have a video on how to make dynamic drop-down lists vertically or by columns and I will connect that video to this one so that you can get all the details because in this one I'm just simply going to quickly explain what I modified so that you can do it by rows because I've had many people asking me how to do that. So basically in this document uh, you have the all the named ranges which I've explained in the previous video and the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to look at the new script. The script here as you can see is this one and we're going to make this just slightly bigger so that you guys can see it if this allows me to. All right. So here in the last one, and the differences here were in that I didn't have this uh, line seven here. And I had to change a couple of things here before the column had the plus one. Now the row does. So those are only a couple of things that had to be changed. Everything else pretty much stays the same. So again, this here I had to add. And then these were changed instead of the columns, the rows being the plus ones. And that is pretty much it. Well, no, that's not true. This part here was also changed. So this one was a column as well before. So the things that were changed were this here and this here, which is now row instead of column. This is now row instead of column. And these two are now row plus one and row plus one, where the other ones were column plus one. So those are the basic things that were changed. Everything else pretty much stays the same so that you can see how this works. We're going to go over here. As you can see, we're zero here. So over here, we're going to save this. And then we're going to put, uh, we're going to have to go out of the zoom here because otherwise you can't see anything. We're going to press run here. Now, as you can see, this comes out and this is coming out uh, for many people. Don't worry, for some reason, when this comes out, do not worry about it. It won't affect you. Because as you can see, we're going to go here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert the name ranges up here, the, the main one. So we're going to go here and click on data and then validation. And then we're going to put main. Again, if you don't understand what I'm doing, you have to look at the video beforehand so you get a clear idea of how this works. We're going to copy that and paste it here. And just so you can get the idea, we can take that. Oops, we didn't want that. Okay. Let's escape from that. Let's grab this, put it over here. And basically, we're just going to click on this, grab A. And as you can see below, it's going to put the subgroups in as similar to the ones for the vertical ones. And they pop out. So I'll grab this. Again. And so as you can see, this works out perfectly for the ones who needed a, a row or horizontal drop-down list instead of the classical vertical one. If you have any questions, please put them under the video. But again, before I finish off, I just wanted to underline, please look at the other video before the one I made before so that you get a clear idea of how everything works instead of trying to ask me questions on this one because I'm just going to point you to the one I did before before I start resolving any doubts or questions. If there's anything else, you can let me know. Take care.